Most people in American culture who have understood something about American history and heritage are familiar with the Ten Commandments. They have been established in Deuteronomy 5 in the Bible. For those of you who are pagan, you can shut this audio cast off, but I'm speaking mainly to the Christians about paganism today using their prolific word. The Ten Commandments are something that Jesus Christ descended in that period of time to share. He came as a different person, perhaps. Maybe he came as Moses. Maybe he came in reincarnation, or maybe he was the burning bush. You see, we don't really get anything other than from those films with the late great actor that the burning bush was basically God communicating to Moses, and it caused his hair to go white. It caused him to be seasoned and more mature by the time he let, left Mount Sinai. When we talk about the Ten Commandments today, we are talking about the rules of the world, the rules that apply to every country, every nation, because at that time, it was still one motherfucking continent, wasn't it? I mean, after all, we don't know all the history of the world is not true. We just don't have everything in every book as you think we do. When we talk about the Ten Commandments, we must talk about them in order, I suppose, because of that is the order that they were gifted to the Lord's people. They were gifted to the Lord's people through a prophet. That is what happens regularly throughout our lifetime. We know of prophets around the world. We know of people who have gifts of soul. We know of everyone who's on television who has the ability to read persons to the floor, but they're not mentalists like we've seen in television series. They are people with information that is gifted from God's house. The Lord has many people with gifts. He gives many and plentiful gifts to many types of children. Every child in the world has a different gift, a different skill, and those who submit more and more to God's house get more gifts. That is practically truthful. But when people start to believe that there is no God that can give gifts any longer, they start to be deceived by Satan's house. The Satan's house may have many rooms, but nobody really talks about it because once they get there, they're still in shock that they didn't make it through heaven's pearly gates. Today we're going to do a quick overview of the Christian version of the Ten Commandments to remind people what they need to remember about life in their version of God. The Ten Commandments begin with, Thou shall have no other God before me. This is what I quip a lot of times in a different way. Basically what we're learning is that God rules the day. And if you think you rule over someone else, you've lost yourself. You've committed probably a sin against God's house. The second commandment says you shall not make any idols. We learned this in the time of Moses because he came down and he had to break down the temples of the fatted calf or the golden calf that he had to ruin to prove to God not to kill his people. Right now we're in a time of pandemic, a pan of epidemic, and our people across the land, across the globe, are dying from this illness. God didn't have to release this illness through people, but he did. He's saying, you're forgetting how important life is. You're forgetting how important relationships are. You're forgetting because you're busy in your technology and you're far away from my house. The third rule of God is you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Most of us utter a Jesus Christ every so often when we're pissed off. At least I grew up that with that in my home despite having had a Methodist mother and father. They would use that in their utterances of profanity and openly children learn what they live. What we're talking about is how we do not honor the Lord. How many of you actually thank God for the food we have? How many of you thank God for the living you have? How many of you God actually praise God before you choose anything at all for your life? You see, in order to do that, you have to be able to know that God provides for you. When God provides for people in homelessness, he really provides for them. When you interfere with God's provision in homelessness or any other person who's going through a disparity or a challenge or some sort of significant transition, you are interfering with God's house and you're literally taking God's name in vain. The fourth commandment is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Well, we've sort of already obliterated that because the Sabbath day used to be Saturday and now we do churches mainly on Sunday, but we also have services on Thursday, sometimes Friday, even including Saturday and Sunday at mega houses. Mega houses have a good 12,000 people or more in them. Look at some of the Joel East Olstein places. Did you ever think he could fill that stadium? He does, practically every Sunday. 
You see, people who are in God's house are always raised up. They literally do not worry about their life. They don't worry about their money. They don't worry about anything. Even in a time of homelessness, I joke about getting dimes from Dad because I'm always finding dimes on the ground. I believe those come from my Heavenly Father, but I also believe they come from my late father who was very generous with his time, with his money, in my life. I learned a lot from him about integrity of a gentleman and how to behave in a way that makes sense in a moral society. The fifth commandment is honor your father and mother. For most of us, we do that to the best of our abilities, but when our mothers and fathers dishonor us, we walk away from their life. We don't play in that anymore. We don't see that very often, and that is truthful, that we are often dishonored and disparaged by our late mothers and fathers in their life. They get tainted by other people. They get tainted by care workers. They get tainted by siblings who want more of inheritance. You see, honoring your mother and father also is in relation to people who will honor other people. Apologize. Oh, your, 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 your,